Buongiorno, welcome back. So, just to update you, uh, we've got different uh, locations in different stages of renovation. And uh, it started off with just the chicken coop, as you will know if you've seen the previous episodes. So the chicken coop we call il polaio, which is Italian for chicken coop. Uh, and that has to be Oh, well, it had to be demolished, which we did last episode, and then rebuilt in exactly the same way. You might be thinking, this sounds illogical. Yes, it is a little bit, but that's that's the way things have to be done uh, here in Italy. You can only uh, rebuild if you're recreating the exact volume and the exact in the exact sort of location and, and the same spaces for windows, the same spaces for doorways, basically replicating what was but, and yet we had to, to, to we had to demolish it also because the rule was that you had to create a safer foundation because the foundation wasn't wasn't safe for living in. So, what? Oh my gosh! There's a tractor arriving. Hang on. <laughs> so basically, we have four uh, different structures in various stages of renovation. For example, uh, behind me we have the pigsties, which are total ruin. Uh, really, really beautiful. I love them, uh, but they're they're at the stage where they're just a, a pile of stones, basically. Then we have La Terrazza, which is just behind here, and this Guido had started uh, renovating. That was in the same state as the chicken coop and the and the pigsties behind here. And before Guido even met me, uh, he had had that uh, renovated or restored, I suppose, uh, to to get it to a state where now it's. It's, we've got all the electrician and the, and the plumber and everything here uh, to, to move that to the next stage. And then there is the main house, which we will be moving into. And that is more about um, changing some of the rooms uh, that, that exist so that, we can, so that we can live in it and, I don't know, maybe one day start a family there, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, we've got all different, <laughs> all different stages from a total ruin uh, to a house that just needs some uh, some some renovation done and uh, we're trying to do them all simultaneously which is a challenge but it's also kind of the best way to work because uh, eh, waiting for these permits waiting for builders waiting for everything everything that no one is very precise in Italy if you they tell you they're coming on one week it could mean they're coming in two months so uh, in order to deal with that you have to have many projects on the go at once so that at least you're not wasting time and uh, if you're expecting a welder to come one week and you organize yourself all around that uh, and he doesn't come then at least you have another project that you can be pushing ahead and pushing ahead we are we are just exhausted every day we're every single day we're just working uh, so hard and uh, hoping that we can get things semi finished uh, well at least with the gardens and everything before the wedding and uh, that's coming up very soon I suppose for me it's, it's 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 exciting but it is just one day and what we're creating here is more about creating a life creating you know a space for family and friends so that feels to me a bit more a bit more significant what is that Hang on, there's a tractor coming through. <laughs> Today we put up the last of the small shutters, getting there bit by bit. But we still have, over at the gate, another round of brown shutters to paint. So this is the entrance to La Terrazza. That's what Guido calls it, this, this cottage, La Terrazza. And because uh, it has the terrace up top, and these beautiful doors, they're just so, so lovely. Uh, you can see this is where, this is how we chose the colour for the shutters because already all over the property there was this blue that they started using back when uh, Guido was a child. And, uh, and this is the entranceway. And then you go all the way through here out to probably the most spectacular view of the whole property. Let me show you. So 
So this will be the bedroom. It's quite small. This uh, bathroom here with the toilet and the bidet and the uh, sink is going to be kept. And then on the left here, uh, we're going to turn that into a shower. Look at all the mold here on the walls. You can see that's what happens when you just leave a, uh, any kind of house uh, and don't have it be lived in, uh, particularly during the during the winter, uh, when you don't have warmth of bodies or the warmth of <laughs> someone lighting a stove. Um, yeah, just get ruined, but we can fix that. So this uh, little area here with a sink, we're going to turn into a shower. <clears throat> there I am, hello. <laughs> now, uh, I'm not a particular uh, fan of this pine. We we spoke to the uh, builders and they said that you can put tile uh, over here. So we're going to tile all of this and all of this. I think I guess here as well and have the whole area. Have the whole area would be a uh, one big shower that you just step into, so that then it's quite quite a big shower. This would be sort of a kitchen dining room. There's just some old fridge, oven, this couch will go, that sink will go. Um, and it's got a beautiful view out that window, which has got so much light that it's overexposed. Uh, yeah, so you can see it's a small room, but certainly big enough uh, to put a whole uh, sink, a fridge, cooker, and some bench space along that wall looking out the window. And then... Uh, over here we could put a little wooden table if you wanted to sit inside during winter or I don't know if it was a bit cool outside but most of the time I think you'd be living on the terrace. Look at this view, this will be the view from the from the kitchen. Ah, and look we planted the glicine which is the Italian word for wisteria. It's just starting to bloom now and it's going to be so beautiful. Look it's going to it's going to crawl all the way up there, up there, and we're still yet to put uh, the top on on the pergola, on the pergola. Sorry, English pronunciation, not Italian. I don't know about these bars. Probably a lot of you will say, "Can you take away the bars so that you could just pass food out from the kitchen?" But <clears throat> I don't know. Probably not. I would say. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Um, this little cottage. Uh, I, I keep using the word cottage. In, in Italian, I suppose it would be like casino or something like that, but cottage feels very British, whereas we need another word to describe a tiny, a small, a small little place, one bedroom house. You know, I don't know what, what it is, but cottage doesn't feel very Italian. It doesn't. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, this, this place is, is going to be so beautiful. It's small and compact, but uh, it's just got three rooms basically this bedroom, uh, the room, main room where the doors are, and then the kitchen. But I think in this place you'll just be living on the, on the terrace uh, under the pergola, which we made a couple of weeks ago when I was doing the cannoli. Right now it's a mess, we've got these just temporarily put up because for the, some of the work uh, that we're doing, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be amazing, really amazing. Once this uh, glicine grows, it's going to go all over the top of this pergola, and then you have a little table out here and a canopy of, of purple flowers. Oh, and then, oh, God, you know what Guido said he wants to do is put a sink, a beautiful stone sink, and, and perhaps a little cooker outside so that you can cook outside. Just looking at this view, can you imagine? Oh, so, so beautiful. Ciao amore! 
Sono dietro. Ciao. Auguri, è giusto? Grazie. 53 anni? 53. Wow. Bellissimo. Così brinda. Sì. This looks like it could easily get out of control. All these yellow flowers here. And over at the main house, they're putting in outdoor lights to go under the iron pergola so we can have summer evenings eating outside. I know I said we would have the uh, pergola finished, but the welder has changed the date that he was supposed to come about four times. So that is uh, yet to be confirmed. Guido gifted me a beautiful mortar and pestle for Valentine's Day, so I've been meaning to make a curry with freshly toasted and ground spices of coriander seeds, cumin seeds, cardamom seeds, peppercorns, cinnamon and chilli. I use lentils, chicken and vegetables, and to thicken the curry I use almond meal, which gives a creaminess and also adds protein. I come from a very health-conscious family, so Guido and I usually always eat brown rice at my insistence, uh, but as a special treat, I made basmati this time. Fame. Hey. <laughs> Doesn't it smell delicious? Yes. <laughs> See, you can start, you can start. Bello! Domani si sveglia alle 5, io buono. Sì. Per fare tutte le cose, per fare il tempo e domani arriva quello col gazebo. E cosa è successo? Piove e quindi non possono finire di fare i lavori di muratura sopra il gazebo. Quindi ora cambiano tutti i piani, che non puoi filmare. Non puoi filmare a Firenze. Cosa si fa secondo un giorno prima? Yeah, because everything... All of the jobs, the pergola, this, the other, the trazza, the polaino. Venerdì, venerdì, la, la pergola c'era venerdì. Mm. Eh, cosa hai detto l'idraulico eh, quando può cominciare? L'idraulico gli ho detto fai le tracce, dice, a me sono fatto fare un preventivo ovviamente. Sì. Lì si fa un bel lavoro. Eh, ora bisogna trovare il piatto doccia, sì. che però non può essere più di un metro per settanta. Ok. Quindi sarà una doccia che l'acqua arriva così sì. e è larga un metro, quindi è bella, eh sì. però è profonda 70, oh. se non si apre la porta. È una bella doccia mm. perché l'importante nella doccia è questo spazio qui, che sì. non devi, mm. se sei largo, sì. va bene. Sì. E then... <ride> Ciao! Me l'ho dimenticato. <ride> sì. Ma il muratore potrebbe fare la doccia se avessimo no, tutte, però... tutte le matonelle, no? Infatti eh. stasera andiamo. Ah sì? Non si importa il mattonello del progiaggio. Sì, sì. Non vuoi essere del sito, quindi cosa ci fa? Io lo metterei di qua, perché se me lo metti davanti alla finestra, al minimo di luminosità, la vedi pure davanti e poi c'è ragione. Quindi lo farei più di qua. Ma io non faccio più di qua. Sì. Beautiful. No? Sì. Quello è più grigio, cioè preferisco questo tono che è più chiaro, no? Okay, questo è più, na più naturale, sì. più pietra naturale. Grazie. See, there really is beauty everywhere, even at an industrial site. <laughs> uh, so much back and forth, so we just, you, you know, it's always the way with picking up all the little pieces, running around the hardware stores. Yeah. Went to the showroom, then we went to the warehouse, then now we're going back to the showroom, then there's about a 40 minute drive back to the farm, then we have to pack up, and then we have to drive back to Florence tonight, so we'll probably be home by midnight, but we have all the pieces so that then the plumber and the builders can work on that while we go back to Florence, and then we'll be back again in two days. No. For the pergola. For the pergola. Wow. This place is amazing. I've just saw it on the <laughs> from the car. No, stupendo. Oh my gosh. Look at this. What? Oh wow. I mean, it looks like a bit of a dump, but you never know. I love these places. You could just find something amazing. Oh look. Bed frames.
10 <ride> sì. te li trovo sì. sì e quanto vengono? 90 euro l'una eh. Generally, Guido is not one to do lots of research, whereas I'm the opposite, almost obsessive. Uh, while he sleeps at night, I'm always researching and emailing people and spending hours and hours searching to find better priced, more beautiful and more authentic pieces. Fortunately, although he doesn't have the patience for research, he really appreciates beauty and trusts my taste. For months I've been searching for an antique wrought iron table base for the table we'll put on the terrace of the chicken coop. So we actually went back to this place a few days later with a van that we rented and uh, got this beautiful base. We brought these wonderful old mirrors from Guido's parents' house that had just been sitting in a garage. The first thing you learn about old wooden furniture is that it must be treated with antique woodworm or else it could destroy all the existing timber furniture in a room. I'm thinking of setting this beautiful mirror up in the granary where I can dress on the morning of the wedding. This trip we had the help of Uzzo, an amazing guy who works up on Guido's family's property and vineyards. We need to create some shade to cover two long banquet tables for the wedding and I wanted something natural, not a big gazebo, but something that kind of harmonizes with the natural surroundings. So he spent two days building a freestanding structure from chestnut logs over which I'll drape muslin or linen or some kind of cotton. Guido hadn't woken up at this point, so this is me calling the caterer to understand the COVID rules for distancing the wedding guests at the tables. Excuse me if I disturb you, but we are building a pergola to create a bit of ombra for the matrimonio. Sì. sì, bene perché abbiamo i pali di tre metri, quindi volevamo sapere se dobbiamo tagliare i pali, però sarebbe molto comodo se potessimo usare i pali. No, 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 di tre, almeno tre metri, sì. per ogni fila di Buonasera. Lei si ricorda di me? Ci siamo conosciuti l'altro giorno. Il video? L'ha visto? Ti è piaciuto? Sì. Guarda, guarda come va, velocissimo. Sì, you're so, so fast, I can't even get the focus on the carciofi. Guarda, belli questi. Amore, you could have a... A, eh? a second career as, a, as an artichoke picker. <laughs> yeah. These are fiori, eh? Sì. And... Yes? Can you dress it? What do we do? So we just had Guido's parents down for lunch. Yeah. And did your father like all the things we've done? Yes, yes, he was very happy to see what we were having. We were doing, planning or work in progress. Wedding, yeah. But it's strange for him to see. Ma quanti anni ha tuo padre? 86. 86. Quindi è strano per lui vedere tutte le cose che abbiamo cambiato. Sì, ma eh, lui è abituato a, ai lavori e a queste cose qui. Quindi sì. eh, quando vede le cose fatte bene è contento, insomma. So now we're, we're driving back to Florence, but we're going to make a uh, pasta with carciofi for Guido's parents tonight, so... If we manage... Si. Ma guarda quanti ci sono! And I think that... 
come si dice preparativi yeah the wedding preparations yeah they are working i don't know how much of them even though you filmed but <laughs> even though today we found out that maybe all events are cancelled in ah, tuscany yeah, but this is covid era so it's normal you can't plan you have to just be ready for what you can do oh this is nearly gone you see they open like flowers and this is the first Very one really question sì. When you take away this, sì. they call, si chiamano figlioli, the, the little child, sì. and they will grow. Sì. But the good one is the big first one. Sì. These are like, like second, second, come si dice? Generation. Yeah, ma è seconda scelta, insomma. Sì. This is the first choice. Ah, ok, ok. Oh, Bellissimo. Can you tell me about the birds in this tree behind it? Let's go, let's go. I, when I was... You see, I cut some of the, um, the, the... The tree? Yeah, the c'erano dei rami secchi. Sì. And I cut them the other day when we were doing all the works. Sì. And when I was climbing on that dry, dead part, sì. I saw, heard like... Pew, 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 pew. And there's a nest. It's just here, in this wood crack. Oh, do you think we can see them? I They're so know. cute. They're so... To... Hello. Hello. Ready? No. Ecco, li vedi? Ecco, ecco. Oh, sorry to disturb. It's a mofosse. I just called. Ma quanto ti gai? questo autobus vediamo qui in un'altra vita facevo il camionista <ride> beautiful come <ride> 